Hey, this is Hans from Dakota Angler and Outfitter, and today we are going to tie a zebra midge. A simple fly to tie, great for beginners, but a very effective fly. So even if this is the first fly you ever tie, this is a pattern you can keep on tying because it catches fish. So we have a scud style hook in the vise. This is a Tiemco 2457. You could also use a Daiichi 1120 or a Gamagatsu C12. We have a nickel bead on the hook and that's size to match the hook. I'm tying this one big so that it shows up better on the video. This is a size 14 hook with a size 1 8 bead. If you were tying smaller you would have to drop down the size of the bead as well to match the size of the hook. And you can look up a bead reference chart on our web store. So now we're going to, and this is optional, but it helps build a taper. We're going to take some lead wire and we're going to add about 10 wraps. So all I did was I just held the wire behind the hook and then using my right hand wrapped forward. We'll add our wraps. Break that off in the front as well as the back. If you can't get it, you could always use your scissors, but fingernails work well. And then we'll push those wraps up inside the bead. Now that'll keep the bead in place, but also help build a taper from the back of the hook to the front up to the back of the bead. Next, we can take our thread. On this larger size fly, I'm going to use black 140 denier thread. If I got much smaller than a 16, I would drop down to 70 denier thread. So I'm going to start my thread behind the bead cover up that wire and then take my thread back to the back of the hook so that it's about even with the barb of the hook. Next, trim off my thread. And now I'm going to take silver wire and I'm going to lay that along the side of the hook and I've got just enough here to go up to where that lead wire is covered up tie that onto the hook and then advance my thread forward covering up that silver wire so I, I don't see any silver wire shining through now, I'm going to spin my bobbin until I see my thread flatten out. See how that thread flattened out right at the hook? You might have to spin it right or left depending on the spool of thread. But that flattening the thread will allow me to make a nice smooth body of this fly. This fly is a thread bodied fly, meaning that the color of thread that we're using will determine the body color of the fly. Periodically I'm going to twist that thread until I see it flatten out. Let's see. There we go. And then I'm just going to go back and forth up and down the hook shank until I get a nice smoothly tapered body from the back of the hook to the front. We're getting close here. probably close enough. Next we'll take and wrap our rib which is the the wire that we tied in. We're just going to spiral that forward not with tight wraps but leaving gaps in between the wraps until we get to the front of the hook. At the front of the hook we have to tie off the wire. We switch hands from the normal uh, bobbin operation. We're going to do our left hand holding the bobbin and our right hand holding the excess wire forward we'll drop our bobbin over the wire at least three times and then give it a nice little tug and now we need to remove the wire from the hook and there's a couple ways you can do that you can trim it off with your scissors but you can also with most wire just wiggle it back and forth until the wire weakens and of course in this video it's there it goes taking a little while and that way you don't have to dull your scissors and then we can make one or two more wraps 
And now we can do a whip finish. So either using a whip finishing tool or your fingers, you can whip finish behind the bead. Tie off. Make sure that's good and tight. And then trim off your excess thread. That's basically a finished zebra midge. Really not a whole heck of a lot to the fly, but boy do they work. And you can tie them in this standard black and silver coloration, or you can alternate those colors by changing the colors of your thread or the color of the wires that you use. Now I will take a bit of head cement here. And just cover all those thread wraps with a bit of head cement and let that soak in. That will help, since this is a thread bodied fly, that will help the fly last much longer. Assuming you don't lose it first or break it off in a tree or a rock, which is easy to do. So there we go, we have a zebra midge, a great fly to start your fly tying career with, but also an extremely effective pattern that can be varied in lots of different sizes and color combinations and will work just about on any trout stream or river in the world. I'm Hans. Thanks for watching. We've got lots of other videos on our website, flyfishsd.com. Please check them out.